what's going on guys J freaking C here and uh back with some more Mass Effect uh let's just go ahead and hop right into this if you guys remember last episode we uh basically got attacked by the first reaper and Saren oh sorry spoiler we got attacked by some kind of monster thing that we don't know what it is. Um, I did watch my own video and realized the uh, motion blur is fine. The fill grain is not as fine. <laughs> I honestly liked it better with both off. So, let's go ahead and do that. Alright, now we're good. There we go. We're seeing clearly now. Glad to... Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you, too. Uh, <laughs> well, soldiers die, you know. That's There's what happens. nothing we could have done to save him. No, I know that, but I don't have to like it. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. <sighs> um, keep it to yourself, bud. There's something big coming. I don't want anyone <clears throat> messing it up. You read me, Lieutenant? Five by five, ma'am. Is there anything else before we head ashore? Just secure your mouth. Keep your concerns in check. You don't want to get a rep for questioning orders. Aye, aye, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I am the military. You better watch out. I act like the military can do no wrong. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Tell me about your personal life. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse, and the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Regrets? Question Ever mark? think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. <coughs> but there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he sees pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. Uh, what? An L2? What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Uh, what kind of complications, What kind bud? of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. <laughs> There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Alright. So he has headaches. Alright. We'll go. keep that in mind. Maybe Goodbye. in the future it'll matter. Um. Well, yeah, let's talk to Ashley. After what happened to Jenkins, the crew could use some good news. They'll be glad to hear you're okay. Question mark, why are you over here? You're not assigned to this ship. Captain Anderson had me transferred to his command. Must have figured I knew what I was doing. Must have. You have a problem with me, Chief? Chief. Question my competence through the entire mission. That's my prerogative, bro. Best way to stop that is to show me you're competent. But I don't remember inviting you to come back to the ship with us. You didn't. Captain Anderson did. <laughs> I think we got off on the wrong foot, Williams. 
Maybe we could start again. I'm not one to hold a grudge. I think we're all looking to put Eden Prime behind us. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. Comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. The mission failed. Dead Marines, dead colonists. And in the end, we still didn't get that beacon. You saved a lot of lives, Commander. It might be hard to keep that in perspective with what happened to Jenkins. <laughs> Save it. I'm not looking for a shoulder to cry on, Williams. Just stay focused on your job. Understood, ma'am. Alrighty, so... We know... Homeboy Caden gets headaches. Ashley doesn't really like us. And this chick is not happy being in the military. What about these guys? Can't even talk to them. Alright. Navigator Presley. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dark 422. is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Man, they didn't give us no Captain love. Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Well, they must be blind. I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. <laughs> For reals, dude, they didn't help us at all. Important locations are marked on your map. 
For active missions, key locations may be marked as your destination. Your radar will indicate the direction of a destination in exploration mode. Allow me to be your guide. Greetings. Guide me, lady. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. <laughs> no thanks. I don't need a guide. Our records indicate this is your first time on the Citadel. A brief orientation session is customary. Please allow me to do my job. So are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Sounds interesting. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Alright, tell me about the CSEC. I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. <laughs> Everybody hates us. Why was humanity opposed? Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species <clears throat> felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. <laughs> what do you think? Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. All right. Um, let's investigate. Specters. Do you know anything about specters? The term specter is derived from the branch of special tactics and reconnaissance. Each specter agent is handpicked by the council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. And what about the Council? What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. Sounds too good. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. All right, that's it. Peace Goodbye. out. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. By accessing Citadel Transit terminals like this one, you can travel directly to specific locations throughout Citadel. As you discover areas of interest, more destinations will become available. Presidium. Presidium Citadel Tower. The music's so good. I love it. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. 
Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. <laughs> and you blew it, didn't you? Sounds like you came up empty. Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Damn it, Garrus. I needed you to freaking help me out. Now they're not gonna help us at all. The hearing's already started. Come on. Oh, we got here late? That's also not a good sign. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing <coughs> to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow specter and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon, then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson, he's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? This guy's racist as hell. You'll pay. You can expect me to kill you the next time we meet. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. <laughs> the Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. Dude, I'm telling you, I hate that guy. Saren's such a good bad guy. I hate him. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. The Council won't help us. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. I don't trust him. He's a Turian. I don't want him on our side. Not all Turians are like Saren. If he can help, we need to find him. I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. <laughs> I don't want the Council using Jake your called him a loser. with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later.
Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. <clears throat> Tell me about you and Saren. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Um... Goddamn, so would I. <laughs> Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. <laughs> so would I. Sometimes a thousand people must die. Oh, it's <laughs> the same thing I already no said. Way. Saren doesn't even look for another. <clears throat> All right, well, let's go talk to this drunken loser. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office. All right, guys, let's go. On our way to Cora's Den. That guy's up to something. What guy? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. <laughs> um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. All right, well, let me help. Sounds like a side quest for me. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. Sounds good. I should get going then. I want to get paid. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Kor's Den. Okay, we have arrived at Kor's Den. Oh, really? We're going to start fighting right away, huh? Um... <laughs> Y'all didn't have a chance. Think we're good, Commander. I'm surprised. I didn't. I don't remember fighting right away. <laughs> Harkin, that's who we're looking for, right? Back off, Rex. This told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Hey there, sweetheart. You looking for some fun? Cause I gotta say, that soldier get-up looks real good on that body of yours. <laughs> Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Harkin? Have a drink. 
We'll see where this goes. <laughs> You're disgusting. I'd rather drink a cup of acid after chewing on a razor blade. You trying to hurt my feelings? You gotta do better than that. After 20 years with CSEC, I've been called every name in the book, princess. <laughs> Don't call me that. Call me princess again and you'll be picking your teeth up off the floor. Now tell me where Garrus is. Okay, okay, just relax. Garrus, you say? Mm. You must be one of Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, huh? I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Don't waste my time, bro. Just tell me where Garrus is before this gets ugly. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor. And then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this man a liar. Why should I believe a drunk like you? Fine, ask Anderson. I bet he tells you. He's too stupid and proud to lie right to your face. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. I'm All right. Here. Yeah. Let's go find Garrus then. I think we're going the right way. He said the other side of the wards. So I think we're already in the wards. We just gotta get there to the doctor's office. What? Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. <laughs> Wait, what? Do I know you? Uh, no, no, I'm just a fan. One of your biggest fans, actually. My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. <laughs> <laughs> uh, leave me alone. I don't have time for this, Conrad. I'm not here to be a role model. Oh, I see how it is. Commander Shepard doesn't have time for the little people. Far be it for me to get in your way. You go be a hero. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was about. Old Conrad don't like me too much anymore. Hey, Commander Shepard. Uh, what? I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? No. I don't have time to give interviews, Ms. Wong. I don't want an interview. I'm looking for information. I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. I'm here to do my job, not yours. Goodbye, Ms. Wong. I see, Commander. I apologize. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing out on side quests by being a jerk to everybody. Med clinic door, here we go. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Ah! Hostile contact. Sucker. What's up, Garrus? Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Nice you shot. Took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Ooh, Quarian? What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Mm, okay. 
Then what? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. Mm, what anything else? What else can else? you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Mm, I would usually try to be a jerk and say forget it, but I'll say okay. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Ooh, who do I want on the team? Ashley and Garrus, for sure. All right, boys, let's go. So we got to go to the Seasick Academy. Shay, I wonder if we've been standing here for a little bit. Let's talk to Rex. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? I'm going after Fist. I don't want you getting in my way. Huh. Now I recognize you. Commander Shepard from the Alliance. Heard a lot about you. Oh, really? We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Well then. I think we're going to get along just fine, We Rex. can be best buds. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Well, now we gotta pick the two new people. Sorry, Ashley. Let's go. So we're going to go back to the same spot. There is a fast travel thing. Here we go. I think we go back to Korra's den. Pretty sure that's what we're supposed to do. Oh yeah, for sure. What's up, dude? Stop right there! Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot. <laughs> You're making a mistake. I just killed fifty bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh, well, uh. Screw Fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. <laughs> I intimidated him to leave. That's awesome. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Hell yeah, dude. I freaking scared him away with my angry face. Um, before we do this. Let me double check my equipment. Look out! 
fist? You don't want to talk? Huh? Enemy is everywhere! Oh my he god. Wrecked. Wait! Don't kill me, I surrender! Yeah, how convenient you freaking surrender after I already beat your ass. Start talking. Tell me where the Quarian is and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. <laughs> wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. <laughs> The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that Quarian. <laughs> Rex just blasted him. I'm on it! I'm on oh it. man, I'm dying. Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Fist set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. You've got proof Saren is working with the Geth. Hand it over. Not so fast. Who are you? I don't have time for questions. I need the evidence you have <laughs> against Saren. I guess I owe you. But not out here in the open. We need to go somewhere safe. All right. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. Let's go, girl. To the ambassador. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many? Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Shut up, and I'll tell you, damn it, dude. Come on, chill. This Quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Uh, get to the point, girl. Where's the proof you promised? During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. We got him. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's more. Ladies and gentlemen, wasn't we got him. Alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. 
Beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. They won't believe you anyway. Just keep them out of this. We have to tell them. Even if they don't believe anything else, this proves Saren is a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. <laughs> I can just tell her, you're not ready for this. I think this is more than you can handle. <clears throat> She's already survived a run-in with the Geth Shepherd, and we need all the help we can get. Take her with you. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Who do we need to take? I think we take uh, these two. I don't need Rex now that I killed Fist. <laughs> <laughs> 